Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to have a look at the Pinecone SG2801 which is a 128 scale crawler and uh, with lots of tiny details and for this price looks very promising. Let's check it out. And here it is and it features a body. Metal texture of material. And I gotta say, judging from the picture, there are lots of details for the small RC. And it has a proper remote control and LEDs and we have sharks and lots of stuff that you can open and things on the back of the carton. This RC comes in two versions, one green, soldier green and the desert color, which I think is yellow or something. And that's actually the version that I've bought. So let's have a look inside. Mmm, plastic clamshell. That's not good for the environment. We have a proper instruction manual, which you should read. And stuff. Some stickers that I will not use. And I will install all those scale parts later. We have a screwdriver and here we have the remote. And it feels alright, not too light in my hand. The lower part slides out like a magazine, so you can put the batteries inside. We have steering trim, steering dual rate, and the brake button, which I hope I will remember later. One handed steering is okay. To exchange the batteries, just slide out this thingy. Um, yeah. It's supposed to be easy. Almost there. Yeah. So, after you've done this, you get your AA batteries. I always use rechargeables. I got some from IKEA, which I even made in Japan, and that's where the good ones come from. One and two. Oh, guess I only need two. So that's done. A USB charger is inside. This thing is kind of like one of my childhood dreams come true. I mean, it's a toy diecast car, which you can even drive with a remote. So that's cool. And it looks like a proper car, thanks to all the details. I mean, we even get to open the doors, front and back. And in the rear as well. That's where your battery lives. You can even open the bonnet slash hood. And now you can read the name. It's the famous Lano Pdva. <laughs> you know. And here we have lots of plastic, which is a K for the price and size, I guess. So in the middle we have the gears, then we have the shafts for the rear and the front. Friction dampers also all right. Tires do feel okay too. Let's test those dampers. Oh, and by the way, the spare tire is actually a functional tire in the correct size. And also, let's have a look at the battery. <laughs> it's so tiny, but it's a proper 2S LiPo with 300 milliamp hours. And look how tiny compared to my thumb. All right, let's prepare the roof rack. One of the cheese graters came already broken out of the box, so I will have to find a way to make it fit. But it looks great, don't you think? Alright, radio on. Car on. Ooh, and the servo seems to be quite powerful. So there are the turning indicators, front and rear. Now let's drive a little bit. The modulation seems alright and I hear no motor whining, even the TRX4M, which cost three times the price, couldn't give you that. Now let's see if we can slowly get backwards. Yeah, a bit fast. 
I will try to go slower later. Now let's see how fast can actually go. <gasps> oh no! That was so not smart. And I have to say the plastic for the decoration is so brittle. I mean, it just shattered like glass. Now let's collect all the pieces first. And yeah, I might be able to fix it, but for how long? So let's just go without it. And I mean, look at it. It looks so good without it. So forget the roof rack and let's go. Oh yeah, I wanted to try the backwards modulation. And now enjoy some driving footage. Well, I got this little puppy for about $60 and boy oh boy do you got a lot of price value for that. Discounting the shattered roof rack of course. For the price, the modulation is fine, the motor is quite strong, details are great, the lights love the shocks are a bit stiff but that's okay. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a like, consider subscribing and leave a super thanks if you want to. Thank you for watching.